Hey, what's going on guys? This is Fine Like Wine 49, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a long time, so let's get right into it. <clears throat> I've uh, took a long break, and I'm just back. I actually just played one game of practice before I got on here against this guy. He's a Dalson player, I just lost to him. Should have beat him, so let's try to get going here. Basically about Dalsim, I just, he's probably the perfect character to go against me because I'm so impatient and <laughs> I get frustrated easily. So we're going to get right into this and let's see, look at all those points gone. That's crazy. I actually took a long break and I, the reason why, because YouTube's kind of new policy thing, I uh, don't have a Google Plus, I don't want to sign up for it. So, if you have any questions for me, uh, try to send them Twitter, private message on YouTube, try to do a bunch of things. But yeah, I can't answer to you on my videos. You know, I expected he would teleport away. And that's why I did that cross up short and then jump forward, but he was ready for it and beat me pretty good. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, I went to a low strong to punish that. That's crazy. Okay. Just gotta be careful not to give this away. Backed up in the corner, not a big deal. Get away. <laughs> Interesting that he has Ultra One here. Could have won with a low or a crouching forward. That I, I did a strong to punish that. <sighs> you know, this game just gets frustrating sometimes. Because he did an unsafe teleport, and I don't know, it was... I guess I just pressed the button too late? Oh, come on! Jesus! That should have hit his low, his fierce! The low strong should have hit that. Ah. Anyway, I went to Northeastern Championship, the major that was up in Philadelphia. Oh, no. He's doing unsafe teleports and he's getting away with it. That's Street Fighter, man. Okay, I thought I was far enough away. That's pissing me off now. Okay, I just need to avoid these limbs now since I have the great life. Man, I could have won. I could have already won this game. Did that hit me? That was far enough, huh? I was just about to say, watch out for Yoga Sniper, and then I went right to down, and he Yoga Sniper me. Incredible. I should have beat this guy twice already. He's pressing buttons like mad here. Yeah. Alright, that was my one gamble. Hey! Okay, I fucked that combo up, but it still worked, so I got my revenge. Anyway, I went to NEC, I played Ultra, uh, Street Fighter 4 Ultra. It's pretty cool, I had fun with it. Guile actually, popular belief was he got buffed, he got nerfed as well. His far standing fierce and his crouching strong both got nerfed on the range. So that cut down on block strings and that cut down on just me trying to get people out of my face. So in previous matches where I had the advantage like against Dictator, it was a lot a bit harder and I did lose to Dictator players. I did play Hondas, Balrogs, I played new characters and Kens and stuff and it seemed about the same. Guile still had the advantage in quite a few matches like that. 
but as I said, um, he's getting some pretty significant nerfs with the range, because that's what's almost, I mean, other than his sonic boom, his normals are what's important to him. So he's getting nerfed, nerfed and buffed. His, his upside down kick is can go over nor or over low normals easier now. So that's a good offensive or mix-up tool when your opponent's waking up. God. Why does he have that ultra? It's crazy. I try to get really fancy on the punish of a duck, but just do that. Words. You can do the guile high kicks and no combo, but it didn't work for some reason. I guess it's on my okay, I air grabbed that. Oh no. That was a horrible round. We're gonna forget about that. <clears throat> his Sobot, Guile Sobot, and Ultra actually got buffed on his startup, so that's a really good Fireball War tool. It's gonna be really great against Sagat and Guile, and that's pretty significant because I think Sagat's gonna be really good in this in the next patch. It's coming out in June. Oh, that was really smart of him actually. Not for sure he was gonna grab. Okay, just need to worry about anti-airs then. That's what's screwing me up here. Do it again. Yeah, just had to wait for him. Just gotta be calm with these guys that press a lot of buttons and go in. Did he give up? He gave up. <clears throat> so yeah, that's gonna be a really good footsie tool. It'll help against Ryu as well. There's going to be punishing the lows from you as well. <clears throat> His air grab did uh, get better. I, I can't tell much of a difference, but that's definitely going to help against characters like Blanca or Kami or something. <clears throat> so yeah, nerfs and buffs, so who knows where he's going to be, and that's, you know, it's not the final patch or the final build of Ultra. So, who knows what's going to happen. I did mark a comment down, because they, they have a paper where you can write down what you thought about Ultra. And I just asked, uh, I let him know that I was aware that the delayed wake-up in this new patch is going to help Guile. But, I mean, delayed wake-up is only going to help against setups and kind of a barrage of offensive pressure. If I delay wake-up, and uh, it screws up their setup, I guess, but they're still going to be right next to me, which is what I don't want. So it's not that much of a buff. It'll help for when just making sure you have charge. You can wake up once you get charged. That'll be nice. So I just asked them to give back his far stand fierce and crouch strong, and I didn't really care about the other buffs. I can give that away to him. Okay. This guy is going wild. I almost flash kicked that. That would be funny. Okay. Okay, just gotta be careful that he headbutts and does crazy, uh, crazy specials that ranges like that. Throw him into the corner. Don't even deal with this crap. Nice. I guess he just jump over that one. No, it's not gonna work. It's just gonna give me some meter. Oosh! <laughs> and, uh, yeah, like I said, uh, the Google Plus thing, that's why it got me to slow down on my activity on YouTube. So I'm gonna just get a. After the holidays, right after the holidays, when I get some more fun built up, I'm just gonna get a video capture card. And I'm gonna go on Twitch, and I'll record videos on Twitch. And I'll probably just upload the Let's Plays and the <clears throat> uh, up to YouTube when I do. And I can still upload my tutorials and everything. Just try to get a hold of me on Twitter or Facebook. <clears throat> but like I said before, in the Northeastern Championships, in the Major in Philadelphia, I got knocked out of my pools by Chris G and a Ken player, <clears throat> a Ken player in Philadelphia. Should have beat the Ken player. I went like three and two in my pool, but the match that went with Chris G was pretty bad. I uh, lost the first round, so I had quite a bit of meter set up, 
And to start the round, I opened up, walking back like two steps and throwing EX Sonic Boom, and he jumped over that. And I, I ended up not being able to come back from that, because Sakura's got pretty crazy combos. And the same thing happened in the next game, too. I had EX Sonic Boom in round two. I threw it, he jumped in and got a full damage combo, and I was in the corner. So, I mean, it was pretty shitty. I thought she was going to sweep there, and she did the right play. That was a good jump. Usually you shouldn't jump back in the corner, but that was a good one. You need to be really careful about throwing Sonic Booms when she has charge. And I got to focus on not being predictable on Sonic Booms. Like, I got to jab or do that a few times and then then throw it. Or else I'll get hit with that. <clears throat> And uh, I played Knuckle Dew, got beat pretty good overall. I played him tough in all the rounds, but I ended up losing most of them. So I got beat pretty bad. I lost $100 to him. So he is definitely on another level than I am. Wow. <laughs> okay, that didn't combo. <laughs> This the next level, get hit by the open. <laughs> get hit by the uh, jump in when you're focused back. Okay, don't you love it when that happens? Oh, well, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to overhead, not a sonic boom, but whatever. It might be worse. See, he's trying to hit Ultra on me, I just gotta be not as predictable here. Yeah, <laughs> he's trying to dash in and hit the Ultra. Okay. That might get close if he hits it too, so gotta be careful about that. Uh, I lost like 150 points to that Dawson player, it was crazy. <clears throat> Took a long break, I don't know what the heck happened to my account. I remember playing it a few times, but it's up to like 4200. We'll get it back though. I definitely want to play more of this. And since Ultra is going to be in the next patch, it should be going strong. Hi Tech, is that the Dawson player? <clears throat> Not entirely sure. Yeah, when I played Knuckle Dew, afterwards he said, you know, I'm not that much better than you, even though I crushed you, crushed you in the record. It's just you're too predictable in Sonic Boom. And I've had many top players say that to me, so it's just something i got to focus on. You tell me, like, I try to throw a Sonic Boom as fast as I can, or I wait until the next opportunity for a charge and then throw a Sonic Boom. Okay. Oh my lord. I should have done the roundhouse flash kick, but I thought. I thought the uh, short one would be good enough. Okay. Oh, nice back dash. Not a good jump, though. Yeah, this should not be what he wants to do. He wants to go into fireballs, actually, so... Next time he does that focus attack back dash, I'm gonna follow him. Ah... Uh, hit that, at least. And that's gonna get buffed, so that makes me a happy gamer. Ultra 1 is another... Is another, uh... Okay, so Ultra 2 is getting buffed to 350 damage full. Ultra 1 is getting nerfed to 450. And it's getting a startup, startup buff to 5 frames. And uh, you can combo it off of a crouching jab. It auto-corrects easier now. I don't know if any of you saw that the match where Z was announcing against the Sagat player, but it was pretty crazy. <laughs> That'll help a lot of Guile players, because most these days go to Ultra 1. There's a lot that don't want to deal with Ultra 2, because it's very matchup heavy, knowing on when to throw that. And it'll help a lot of people, but I don't think it's as useful as people think. I, I text that. I was, I was pressing it. It's the right Ultra that he should have, actually. Okay. Flash kicked! I flash kicked and I tech, nothing's coming out! 
Somebody help! Nah. Should have waited a little bit more. <laughs> oh my goodness. What? <laughs> that was unsafe! Everything there was unsafe, and I could not punish any of it. You heard the buttons. I was pressing stuff. Oh. Unbelievable. Unbelievable! No, this guy is not beating me. This guy sucks. I flash kicked! Oh my god! What is happening? Oh god. It's coming all... It's tumbling all down. Okay. I just need to jump away when he gets close. God. <laughs> Goddamn dive kicks are not safe. That burned my charge because I tried to interrupt it with a flash kick. Oh man, this is just fantastic. The goddamn pinwheels are unsafe, but I'm not able to punish them. Hey, I finally beat him. That was embarrassing. Oh. That did not need to go that far. So, since the Guile's upside down kick and Ultra is getting buffed, <clears throat> it's going to help quite a bit on your offense when they're waking up. Because you can mix up a throw, or you can back up fierce, you can cross up sh uh, short, and then, you know, do a upside down kick. I think I played this guy before, so I don't think he's very good. I'm going to back out of that. And, uh, yeah, you can combo, combo off of the crouching jab easier, so... Won't be as many screw-ups online like here. Guy will definitely be an easier character to pick up. <laughs> so if you're thinking about him as a pocket character, definitely try to learn him. Go for it. Because he should be useful. And the thing is, the red focuses are going to be a problem for him in the long run. Because uh, he doesn't have a armor-breaking move when you're moving forward or you don't have charge for flash kick. And his Kara throw doesn't go very far. So if they red focus, like if you're throwing sonic booms and poking at them, you can easily get hit by that. They can go right in your face when they know that you don't have flash kick charge, and then get like a free dash in, a free dash in pressure. I don't know if you can tell, but this is actually extremely laggy. This guy is crazy. Look at how laggy it is. This is not okay. Don't let him jump in on me here. I believe he tried to cancel that. So when Seth's that close and he can cancel a short you can, you basically have to deal with his mix up, so definitely something you want to stay away from. If he wall jumps, I'm gonna try to air throw him. I don't know how that jump roundhouse didn't hit him there. Get a wall jump. Uh, he's too far away for an air grab. So. There we go. Just keep it nice and simple. Yeah, pretty predictable actually. Pretty predictable. Can't believe he's not done. That was a safe jump. There's nothing he could have done. If he would have. If he would have DP'd and then FADC dash in, I would have supered him. And basically dealt with what he wanted to do because I think it would have chipped him, no matter what. Or if he tried to jump, it would have hit him once. I think that guy sucks, so I'll move to this guy. <sighs> Sweet monkey love. Like I said, Elena looks pretty good. Hugo, strangely, I don't know. He doesn't seem that good to me. His command grab isn't that great. 
Relento didn't look that scary to me. I don't know. I didn't see very many good players playing him, so that might have been the case. Uh, of the new characters, I definitely think Elena will be the best. She does have a very floaty jump arc, and it's even worse than how Chun Li's is in this patch. So, and so I'm gonna train him to tech my throws, and then I'll try to hit him with a uh, when I next time I pressure him, I'll try to hit him with a upside down kick. See, I think that would have hit an ultra. I'm not. I'm entirely sure I haven't seen that exact setup. I don't know what this guy's thinking because he doesn't look very good, so usually Dalsims would try to slide there and that's why I didn't focus, so. I'm just gonna play a normal turtle game here. Uh, I tried to hit his stamp here. Oh, he tried to go for the overhead. Usually people will go to the overhead if they have meter, but... Okay. Not what I wanted, I wanted an overhead, but whatever. Oh, I thought he was dead, I put my controller down there. I think I was gonna hit him. Yeah. Yep, if they do that right in your face, you can grab them out of it, so... Don't let it happen. So I'm gonna try to go up to my my normal uh, local tournaments a little more often, so I'll let you guys know when I'm about to play in a real tournament. Oh, try to... How are you not stunned? There you go. Try to do a good combo against Dalsim in the corner. Oh, see, if Sonic Boom came out, you could have got a high kick and then flash kick, so... Would have been a good combo. Yeah, that guy, he, he didn't teleport as much to as many bad teleports, so that's good, but he didn't try to do the slides or anticipate my my uh, jump-ins at him and my PGI Friday. Okay, I think that guy's a Goken player. I'm not sure. Try to do a couple more matches. So yeah, I'll definitely let you guys know when I go on to Twitch. <laughs> and then get a capture card going. And that way I won't have to throw up recordings and edit afterwards, it'll be great. <clears throat> Go on the uh, twitch.com with thousands of other amateurs that are getting on with the new consoles, so. I'm sure I won't get very many viewers for a while, but I do plan to improve in this game, and hopefully people will watch me, because I know that Dominion and Knuckle do they're the American guys, and they don't really go on Twitch that often, so... Oh man, I'm trying to find a good match before I log off here. <clears throat> when people have these kinds of points, you just gotta assume that they don't know what they're doing, and you gotta just worry about anti-air. Okay. <laughs> that was a flash kick and he came out of throw. My fault. <laughs> that was pretty good. This guy's actually beating me. That's evil Ryu for ya. Oh, Mike just hit me. Yep. That's unfortunate. <laughs> See? If you're just starting the game, get in on it. You can win. You can win rounds. It's incredible. Let's try that combo again. Okay? I'm not getting the charge or something. Oh no. Oh no no! <laughs> Said enough with your missing your combos. You know, that's that's unbelievable. Okay, it looks like I'm still on. Hope I didn't get a disconnect uh, percent because of that. Whatever, that guy was not gonna beat me. There's no way in hell. 
Okay. Fei Long is getting nerfed quite a bit in the new patch. I saw Fei Long play. The range on his Rekka isn't that great. But the damage is just cut down significantly. It's shocking. Didn't think it needed that much of a nerf. That happens a lot with Capcom. Once a character becomes really good, they just nerf him to it until it's unplayable. It just doesn't make any sense. Oh my lord, look at this lag. No, 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 no. I, how can I even play in this? This sucks. This is unbelievable. Oh my god. Oh, God. I thought about anti-airing him with Ultra 2. God. Oh, that's just not even fair! How can I even deal with this lag? Oh. Should have altered him. Oh, I lost! I lost the last match! What the hell? You know, I'm thinking, okay, I take that! This is stupid. God. I just have to guess every damn time. Yeah, he's got an OS for that backdash. It's not cool. I fierced that chicken wing! Oh my god, that missed! It missed. God damn it. Ah, oh, you don't like it when you get grabbed on... Yeah, that's right. Oh. <laughs> Alright, we'll just do one more. I just lost a ton of points because I disconnected to that guy. And then I lost to this guy when it was shitty lag. So, what are you going to do? Oh my god, <laughs> that is unbelievable. Oh wow. There's not much he can do when he's just walking up and doing fierces and grabs. He can just flash kick it and hopefully it works. <laughs> that sucks. I lost to that evil Ryu player and just lost a ton of points because it disconnected. Okay, got a good Honda. We'll end with this then. Start out with a back fist. Luckily, back fist will still be pretty good in Ultra, so it'll be the same thing. Okay, this Honda's going crazy. Gonna do another one? I put my uh, jabs out there to beat a headbutt. Sucks to be you! Even if Hondas just go ham on you, you should be able to still win. If you get like a quarter health, you can still beat a Honda with 75% health. There's really nothing that he can do about... Really? He just gotta back up far enough to where you know that then. Are you serious? Oh my god. He's being super predictable too. <laughs> Land on it, bitch! And that's how you get to uh, 4,000 player points with Honda. Just, you know, just do stuff. It works. Yeah, that sucks. We'll have to get my points back on the next episode then. Sorry about that long break. I'm getting back into the game now. I will see you guys next time. I'll try to get capture, uh, capture equipment and I can go on Twitch. Thank you guys. Have a nice day.